Hello YouTube, Tim here. I'm very happy because I found my tripod. This is excellent. It means that the quality of my videos should be increasing a little bit, although it hasn't been terrible. With the image stabilization and on YouTube, it, it's okay. It's not horrible, but this is much, much better. Well, I'm nearly, nearly done with this horse bow right here. It's a very short Magyar style horse bow. I'm probably going to have to introduce a little mild deflex in the limbs, but for now I'm going to leave it as straight as I can. It really shouldn't be too problematic because it's only being drawn to about 26 inches, and it's only about 7.5 inches of reflex. Nick has done some with about 9, so if that's a, a standard or a benchmark, the other thing to think about is this is also about an inch longer than normal recurves that I've done in this style. So you know, a straight recurve from the handle. It's a fairly nice bow, looks great, and here is the decoration. Let me see if I can get this to look real nice. Maybe I'll have to... I'm going to angle you guys at the table where there's less light. There we go. Some silver thread work here, or filigree, whatever you'd like. Some decoration up near the Sia's. I'm not all that thrilled with the design. I'd like to do it better, even better, but trying to follow an, uh, a pattern, and that makes it a little bit harder, but I still think it turned out particularly nice in the inner limbs. On the back now, there's a treat. Obviously, you get that. Signed it with a paint pen. And then you get this. I won't translate that, so for all of you who speak and write Elvish, the Quenya dialect, you can puzzle that out. Something to do with horses, I think. Anyway, it's a lovely bow, and I'm going to be getting it ready to, sh to shoot within the next few days. Hopefully, at that point, not only will it be shot, and you'll see it being shot, but you'll see some other exciting stuff too. I'm going to wrap the transition here very lightly with something else. Probably a nice complementary color of paracord. It should look very sharp, very elegant. And then the handle. I'm not certain if I'm going to use pleather with some leather arrow passes, but that's probably what I'm going to be doing. This looks great. And whether or not I deflex it, I'm sure it's going to perform just fine. It's a beautiful looking bow, and I can't wait to show it to you in action. Thanks for watching, YouTube.